The Indian Air Force chief has said that the Air Force currently operates 39 different aircraft with origins in six different countries, which makes inventory management a big challenge. He also said that earlier the focus was on hardware, but now the focus has shifted to software data and artificial intelligence. He also said that the Air Force is trying to shorten the OODA loop through investment in technology and training and providing integration across sensors decision makers and shooters, which refers to the combat tactics cycle developed by US Air Force, in which combat units try to speed up the action cycle of observe, orient, decide and act, to keep the enemy on its back foot. He also added, that the Air Force is also developing countermeasures against enemy hypersonic missiles. A Malaysian news media has reported that the hotly contested Royal Malaysian Air Force tender for the supply of 36 light combat aircraft in two phases is inching towards its conclusion, as the Royal Malaysian Air Force has sent its recommendations to the Malaysian government on the aircraft they have selected to procure. The media report also mentions that South Korea's F-A-50 is leading the race with India's Tejas fighter jet close behind, and interestingly, the Royal Malaysian Air Force is not interested in the latest Turkish offer for the co-production of light trainer and the access to its anchor drone and fifth-generation fighter program, as it will not be combat-ready in the next six years. Industry officials have said that the DRDO Larsen and Tubrolite tank that is currently under fabrication is based on the chassis of DRDO's next generation main battle tank, and the successful rollout of the first prototype in 2023 will also strengthen the DRDO's proposal to develop the next generation main battle tank to meet the Indian Army's requirement for 1,770 next generation main battle tank under FRCB program. Talks have already started that the next generation main battle tank will be manufactured through a special purpose vehicle under a public-private partnership model, which has been adopted for the development of the 5.5 generation AMCA and Indian multi-role helicopter. After the poor show of Russian tanks in Ukraine, the Indian Army is unlikely to go ahead with the Russian T-14 under the FRCV. Tato Advanced Systems Limited has handed over the first lot of infantry protected mobility vehicles to the Indian Army Chief, and Tata will also provide 24 by 7 support to maintain the vehicles at the deployment locations. The infantry protected mobility vehicle also known as Wheeled Armoured Platform, is a co-development project with the DRDO, and the vehicles have undergone stringent field trials in deserts as well as high altitude areas by the Indian Army. It features the Tata-designed and developed remote-controlled weapon station with thermal sights, and external add-on armor protection panels developed by the DRDO. In a significant development, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has issued an expression of interest for the design and development of line-replaceable units, spares and other materials used in Su-30 aircraft under Make-2 category. The systems for development includes the Packing 1 and Packing 2 used in control unit of Su-30, which controls the operation of air intake panel of aircraft, electro-hydraulic valve and electro-hydraulic amplifier used in control unit, the hydrolock used in control unit, filter element used in hydraulic application, anti-G valve AD-15, which is designed to provide pressure in bladders of anti-G suit intended to increase pilot G tolerance during high performance maneuvers while the list of spares includes hundreds of items. At the 2 plus 2 meeting, India and US have reaffirmed their ambitions for building an advanced and comprehensive defense partnership. US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has said that the US has signed an agreement with India on space situational awareness and exchanges between US Space Command and India's Defense Space Agency, and to deepen cyberspace cooperation through training and exercises later this year. He also said that financing options are also part of ongoing discussions to make US weaponry more affordable for India, to reduce its reliance on Russian military equipment. Thank <laughs> you.